This past weekend, Rochdale played host to its third annual Arts and Ideas Festival. The festival was started when late Rochdale couple Annie and Frank Mascu left behind a sum of money to be spent on local events related to literature and philosophy. They had first met here at the Rochdale Central Library and bonded over a mutual passion for reading and thinking. The previous two years have been really successful and this one that we're in the middle of now is, is uh, heading that way as well. It looks to be the biggest and the best ever. Um, the, the background to it is we've got a, the council has left some money called the Maskew Bequest. Now a local couple, Mr and Mrs uh, Annie and Frank Maskew, um, met originally in Rochdale Library in the 1950s, um, got married, uh, had shared a passion for reading and thinking um, and then uh, sadly both died and, and uh, left in their will a, a large sum of money to create a, a collection of philosophy and classic literature at Rochdale Central Library and also lots of events to engage people with it, to sort of share the love of reading and, and thinking it across the borough. Uh, it's vital uh, for, for many reasons. One is to bring some positivity to the borough, something really to shout about, really positive, uh, but also to engage people with the arts and culture. And I've seen so many happy people here over the last couple of days. And you can tell people's spirits are really lifted. Um, and it, it's, it's magnificent. Ticket sales were up 35% from last year's event, with 1,200 early bird tickets being quickly snapped up. Eager crowds gathered to meet their favourite authors, and this year's bill included attractions such as historian David Starkey, poet laureate Carol Ann Duffy, and television comedian Dom Jolly, who was here to do a talk about his new book. The event also showcased innovative local talent. Manchester's Lauren Segar exhibited her piece that was made in collaboration with fellow artist Sharon Campbell, The Chandelier of Lost Earrings. The piece is made from over 3,000 single earrings donated by owners who have lost the other half and focuses on the stories behind their disappearance. We've brought the chandelier to the festival because in a lot of ways the chandelier of lost earrings is about stories. We were sent about three and a half thousand single earrings to go on the chandelier from people all over the country. Um, and they also sent us stories to go with the earrings, where they lost them, who gave them the earring. So that was something unexpected, but um, made the sculpture even more profound because then it's just about this one big story of all of these people that have contributed. And because it's a literature festival, it fitted really, really well um, because of the storytelling. People want, to, people want to be part of a cultural world. People want to hear about art and storytelling and books and um, painting. People want to be involved in that and I think uh, anything that's because the Rochdale one is very much about local communities and about engaging with people on, on, on lots of different levels so they've had really great children's events and I think that you know people people want to be able to be involved in these things and the Rochdale festivals made it very accessible to everybody and I think it's important because without without that culture then life can be quite um, Thin. With the popularity of this provincial arts festival growing year by year, Rochdale residents will be expanding their minds for some time to come. Ricardo Vitali, that's Manchester.